welcome to my channel. I'm Lulu and today in this video, I am going to do another thrift haul. I'm really excited to show you guys. If I remember how much I paid for something, I will tell you, but ooh, sometimes, you know, it's just hard to remember because you go through so many things so quickly. You buy them, they sell, it's just in and out, in and out. Well, that's ideal, that's what you are. Anywho, I'm Lulu. I am a reseller on Poshmark and Mercari. This is just a Beyond Yoga. This is a tank. It has a built-in sports bra, which I think that's so handy. That's like killing two birds with one stone. I'm pretty sure I've maybe paid about $4 for this. It's, um, hold on, let's see what size it is. medium this is a size medium and it's beyond yoga also if you are interested in any of these items i will link my poshmark or my mercari whichever one you prefer down in the description another beyond yoga tank top it's like a breathable material this is a medium also this was actually this is still on their website it's sold out so i didn't know that when i found it i know beyond yoga does really good i had some biker shorts before and they sold like literally the next day and then look on the back it's a different design can you even and then these come down as kind of like a collar and then this is one size this is from a designer her name is rhonda stark um, I believe she's out of Utah. Now, with this one, I had no idea who she was, never heard of her. I just know with my thrifting eye now, um, as soon as I saw this, I grabbed it. Like, it, it wasn't even a, like a hesitation. I'm like, this is worth something. I had no idea, but I just, when I saw it, it's just so beautiful. I mean, I can never pull something like this off, I don't think. It is a kerchief poncho and so when i finally started looking you know re doing my research on it her items especially like these the ponchos 150 dollars, 170 dollars new and guess what <laughs> new with tax down the back is a mesh this is a medium medium um in athleta that's a good size it just has a little bit of pilling under the arms which is so funny because when i was looking up comps like um the other people that had this top they had the same it's peeling in that same spot you're not going to believe how much i paid for this this is a j crew sweater blazer one pocket i mean one um front button two front pockets in a navy blue size medium i paid one dollar and 75 cents for this yeah so she whoever the cashier was this day they already were having a sale so i think that's kind of what threw her off but she basically rang my whole order up wrong and i my total for the whole order ended up being i want to uh, was it six or seven dollars for the whole total and i had like four or maybe five things and so yeah dollar 75 and so I want to mention now that I'm remembering it and then I will put also a screenshot up of this item. So when I, the same day um, at this resale shop, when I found the J Crew blazer, I also found a marine layer jacket. Um, I believe it was the Corvette jacket. 
I will definitely put up a screenshot though. It's already sold. So I paid $1.75 for that marine layer jacket and I sold it for $60. It was a gorgeous jacket. It was so beautiful. I believe it was a size small, but yeah, marine layer is definitely a bolo. And whenever you see it, grab it. And what I was so lucky, not only did I get the deal because the cashier messed up, I don't know what she was doing that day, but this thrift shop, they didn't know marine layer. They didn't know it's a bolo. So they marked it down low. I believe like they only had it marked for like $10 anyway. So of course I was going to buy it for the $10. So moving on, this one is a theory top. It's just a long sleeve, kind of like a long sleeve tee. It's very lightweight, very sure. It is 83% cotton, 15% cashmere. I paid $1 for this, for theory. And this lovely I am keeping for myself. It's just too, it's too nice. I mean, I love it. It's so comfortable and soft and lightweight. I'll be a, a staple. It's made well. I want to say these were about $5. Gorge. These are a size. 31. These are the nine inch high rise skinny in a kind of tan, light brown color. Excellent condition. Beautiful. We have another Bolo bread and butter. We have Lulu. And these are just some little black shorts. They have two pockets here. They have two pockets on the inside. These are a size eight. They even say Lulu Athletica across the waistband. You probably can't see it on this video. I want to say these maybe $4, maybe five. When I sell Lululemon shorts, I usually get maybe 25, 30. You are gonna wanna remember this one. This is Sea Folly. They are an Australian company. And this is just a bikini top, like a halter. Is it the? Is it called Bandu? And then this is a size US 10. And then Sea Folly Australia, that's what the tag looks like. Yeah, that's the inside halter. Now, I did, I knew about this brand when I saw it because um, someone I watch on YouTube had said this brand. And when I hear brands, I take mental note. It is everything. This is everything. Guess the brand. Well, I just showed you, but I couldn't believe this was what it was. I, okay, I have taken a stance against the North Face. Like, I know people say that it's bread and butter or bolo i don't get that because anytime i've looked up the north face on poshmark it's just flooded it's so saturated you look up something and there's literally thousands of the north face of that item i just i can't i stay away from it but this screamed to me this as uh my faves jack and ryan would say for the girlies <laughs> this is so for the girlies I mean, look at this zip front pocket has two other pockets, has three pockets. And then not only is it a gorgeous skirt, guess what? Oh, I can feel it. It's a skirt. It has uh, athletic shorts under it. Gorge. And then drawstring. This is a size small. So it would fit me. Oh. I'm not gonna keep it though. I am gonna sell it. So cute. And then when I looked up comps, the comps looked it good. So this will be my first North Face. The North Face. 
bread and butter, Lululemon. This will be my first Lululemon men's. Guess what? The tag's still here. That's amazing. So these are an extra large. They're white. They don't really have any marks on them. Are these swimming trunks or are these workout shorts? I don't know anything about men's clothing. So I, I gotta do some research on these. Ooh, they have a zipper pocket on the side here. That's cool. I didn't even notice that before. And then two front pockets. There's Lulu. So yeah. Extra large men's if you are interested. These will be in my closet on Poshmark and on Macari. I love lightweight stuff. I love lightweight stuff on Macari. It just does really well because anything heavier that's over a pound on Macari, the shipping is a little outrageous. So what else we got? Ooh! I learned about this brand from Jack and Ryan. This top, I don't know if it's a tunic or a sweater dress. I guess if you're super tiny, it'll be a dress on you. This is Unif and Urban Outfitters. It's a size small. Love, 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 love this. Now there was, uh, when I looked under the sleeve, there was a little bit of peeling under the, this has a $6 tag on it, but these feel so freaking good. I think these are golf pants. They are Adidas. It says Adidas there too. Yeah, I think these are golf pants. They are size medium. Just some nice, really lightweight, um, like trousers, gorge. So I have to do some research on these, but they are really nice and fancy. Two uh, pockets, real pockets. This is cute. I just want to show this off. This I found, guess what? I actually found this one at the bins. It goes with this outfit. Oh, my outfit is also from the thrift store. I'm gonna put the name, um, I'll put the name in the video later because I can't look at it now and I can't remember. It's Davi and something, it's like a boutique brand, but isn't it so cute? The buttons are hidden, I love that. And it has a top pocket here and two pockets here. And it just goes so cute with this purse. I got this purse from the Benz and I will, I need to list this also. Cause if I don't, I, if I don't list that purse, I'll keep it. This is DL1961. I can't remember who I watched that said this brand, but they said it was good. So I'm going to try it out. When I looked up comps, comps were great um, for this particular pants, not just for their whole, but these red pants, like these, these jeans, they looked good. These are a size 29. Oh, they're heavy. And perfect. Well, they're not perfect condition, but they are excellent condition. This is the Margot mid rise Insta Sculpt Ankle Skinny. So I guess it makes your booty look good. 59% cotton, 33% lyocell. What is that? They are stretchy. This is my first time finding these in the wild. These are so cute. They're distressed. And look at the hem. At first I thought maybe someone did that, but then when I looked it up, they came like this. The stock photos look so cute. Can you guess? Good American, and they're called Good Waist, and they are size 22. Good American is Khloe Kardashian's um, line. And yeah, 
my first time. I'm so excited to try these out. This is also my first time finding this in the wild. <laughs> this is Girlfriend Collective. And they are athleisure brand. These are great condition. The comps for these looked good. And so the way that I knew that these were something, I felt them. And going through all the leggings and uh, active wear, all of them feel the same. But then you come across one like these or like Aloe or Beyond Yoga or Lulu and they feel different. They don't feel like the rest of the crap that's in there. So I felt these and I could tell that they were different. And again, these are Girlfriend Collective. They have a pocket in the waistband. These are a size medium. Gorgeous, isn't it? You know it is. Now, I will say with this one, I believe it's missing the hood. It is missing the hood. So it's 60% down, 40% waterfowl feathers. So the inside of this is down, which is down is a bolo. Um, and this is just super nice. This is like a knee length bomber. And the brand is Lauren Ralph Lauren. Even if it wasn't Lauren Ralph Lauren, I still would have gotten it because this is just very well made and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's an excellent condition. I mean, just look the details, the little patches here, the buttons. I mean, the collar, everything. It's absolutely stunning. I did try it on. It fit me pretty nice. It's an extra small. Um, I'm gonna list it, but I'm very tempted to keep it. It's just so freaking nice. Oh my God, this thrift store is so strange. They just put any size on things. They have a, they say this is a small and it clearly says extra small right there. They're so weird. This one, I did pay up a little for this baby. I paid $12, but for a knee length bomber, that's $12 is what you would pay for that, <laughs> you know? So I don't feel bad about that. And come on now, even if I keep it for myself, it's a $12 down coat, but I don't think I will keep it. I'm gonna list it even though we're getting out of the colder months, I do not shop or list for the season because here's the thing. Some people dress differently. Some people like to wear whatever they want anytime they want. And some people live in colder areas where it's colder longer. Some people live in warmer. Maybe somebody will buy this and move to Alaska. I don't know, that's not my business. I don't know, but I want this available for them. <laughs> this last piece is Sundry and it's a size two. I learned Sundry from Jack and Ryan. I love their channel. I learned so much from them. This is a sundry sweater. They call this the heart sweater. Why is it the heart sweater? Because it has a little heart. It's a little heart on the sleeve. It's so cute. But this is a two and in sundry sizes, two is a medium, eight to 10. Gorgeous, just a, a color block sweater, very well made love love this the comps the sole comps for this were really good this is a leather jacket 100 percent genuine leather it's vintage i got this from the bins it has a, a removable vest on the inside isn't that amazing the brand is called Bilanto. 
that is everything that I can show you right now. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. What was your favorite thing from this haul? Mine would be um, the Rhonda Stark poncho. Mine would be the Lauren Ralph Lauren down coat. Um, the Theory long sleeve that I'm keeping for myself. I love that top. It's so freaking soft. Actually, I really like everything. The North Face skirt. I did really good. My spidey senses, my thrift senses are just, but I do, I do a lot of research. Um, and I look up comps, I, but I've stopped really going off of comps and just my gut of why I should price things now. And it's working out pretty good. Anywho, make sure you watch my shoe haul. Also, I show the lubes that I found in Valentino and Tory Burch. Anywho, thank you guys. Um, follow me on Instagram. Um, if you want anything, I'll link my Poshmark in the description. Bye.